Greetings, I am Elijah. It's good to see all of you here today. Today I would like to focus on something that is very important to me. There are many things out there to listen to and to be distracted by on the web. As the prayer person had said, we need to be focused on the goal, on the, on the things that you need to be doing in this lifetime, and it's very easy to get distracted. One of those distractions is that there is many people saying that you're going to be turning into light very shortly. Now, what does soon mean to these people? What is soon? And why would you be turning into light if you have missions to be done and to be upholding light for many things? Do you believe that the light is coming so quickly that it will raise the entire population at an, an amazing level of speed? Let me tell you this. There are many conspiracy theories and things to take your minds off of your missions and mind take your minds away from uh, meditation and take your minds away from positivity as it were but you must stay greater than that you must be stronger than that put your faith above your fears put your love above those things that seem to be distracting. You must focus yourself into a, an area that is absolute for you. If even it is to become more of who you are, if it is just to become a greater inspiration or be more fulfilled and more enlightened, that is something to look forward to, something to be and do that is far better than these distractions that are all around. The enemy wants to be a distraction to you so that you will not reach your goals, so that you will not find that which you are supposed to do, which find things that will keep your interest away from taking your uh, goals to a higher level, your meditations to a higher level. Now, I'm not saying all of you are involved in these things, but many are involved in trying to move to the next level, trying to hit that next density, and they're excited because they are going to be moving into another density. But keep in mind, if you are born into the third density and you have a mission to accomplish, you are not going to rise until that mission is done, no matter how hard you try. And remember also this, in order to move to that next density, you have to be totally dedicated to God. You have to be in line with it, that purpose and that density. You must know exactly what is necessary to be done to do such a thing, and not all of you, and many, many people do not even know what is required of them to do this. They just believe a wave of, of uh, great energy will come and it will happen, but the earth is not ready for this, and the word soon is very relative. In God's eyes, a million years is soon. In the eyes of those in the oversoul, a hundred years, maybe soon, or even 10 or 20. What is soon? Soon in the eyes of eternity is but a very small piece. And so if you're expecting within a year or a month or a, or a short period of time this to happen and that everyone will become in line with this particular energy of a uh, of moving forward into the next density, please be aware that the earth is not ready for this at this time. There may be some people that are, that their missions are complete, that they are ready to move on, that they are ready to translate, if you will, into a greater dimension, but do not be deceived 
and stop all your work waiting for this to happen because you might be surprised that it will not happen as soon as you think. Do your work. Align yourself with eternity, with God, with his missions, and with the light, and you will translate at the right time, but you should not stop and wait. That is not the right thing to do. You should move forward in your work and try to give as much light as possible to the world so they can get ready for this. I am not saying it will never happen. And I am not saying that it is not true that there is uh, another dimension that you can move to. And I'm not saying that it is uh, impossible to do that. But what I am saying is the world as a whole is not ready for it. The world as a whole is still searching for the light, still searching for answers, still searching for this alignment with God that will help you move and translate into this next area of, in this next dimensional area. You were born into third dimension to do a work. Were you not? Before all these conspiracy theories and negativities and things about moving into the next dimension uh, were mentioned, were you not set on trying to do a goal? Now, there are some of you out there going, well, I might as well move to the next dimension because I do not see that I have anything to do. I do not have a goal as of yet. I do not see a purpose for my life. But that does not mean that there is not one. It just means you're not aligned to it yet. And that is another thing. If you do not have a purpose, you must find it. You must align with it. If it is nothing more than keeping the light stable on the planet, if it's nothing more than being the example of God that he has made you in a you very unique way so that others can see his light in a different way than they had before, that is important. That is something to move forward with. That is something to seek. But I am sitting here, and the people around me in this room all have purposes, all have goals, all have healing energies, all have things that they need to do before they translate into another dimension. And some of these people may not even have been aware that there was so much talk about that but because they were more focused on their missions, which is good. But there are many out there saying, soon, soon you will translate into the new dimension. Soon you will become light and you will move forward. It is true that moving forward is necessary, but to translate into the next uh, dimension is not possible at this time, not for everyone, not for everyone. And I know that there will be questions out there and I am willing to answer them. And I, I do not want to be negative about this because this is not a negative focus. I want you to focus on your missions to bring the world into a greater place, to bring the world into a higher light, to Align yourself so these things can happen, but you cannot do it too soon. Because if you stop your missions and look for translation into a new dimension too soon, then your mission is defunct. And that is what some things, some people are trying to do is stop these missions by giving you these false hopes about translating too soon. Please do not fall into this category because I want you all to be fulfilled in the way that you are supposed to be fulfilled. I know that this is impossible for every single person to be fulfilled. I wish it was possible and I wish everyone would stay away from distractions, but there are so many out there that you may be taken in by one. But remember this. You can always resonate with it 
and know if you are going in the right direction. If you pray, if you meditate, if you understand what God really wants for your life, you will know what to do because he will bring you out of that in a way that is miraculous in some ways because you don't know any better than to follow this perhaps. But I will answer some questions about this for you, if there are any out there. If there are none, we will move on to the next person. I don't see any questions at the moment, but perhaps in your room. Is there any questions? Or did I not? Yes, yes. Con continue. Elijah, last night, was it you that I was talking with and working with? Yes, you worked All with right. me very much. Right. Yes. Thank you, and thank you for the healing. You're welcome. That is all. Is there anything else, or should I just move for on? Sheer does because have I have missions as well. <laughs> Sheer has a question. Yes, Sheer. Hello, Elijah. How are you? I'm very well. Well, it seemed that yesterday there was some kind of an attack on Earth, and certain people moved to different timelines. So I'm wondering which timelines a timeline are we at right now? It depends on the individual. There, there was reasons why people were moved to different timelines yesterday, and it was for one for protective reason reasonings, and two for energetic reasonings. And as the timelines are getting back into order, you know that there was some uh, things that were not right about the timelines that they had to repair. And as they are repairing them, certain people have to be moved here and there so that they, they can repair it properly and get things in the the right, uh, exactly the right way that they were. And that's millions of details. And so moving around to the timelines right now for some of you is just um, a little bit arbitrary because they're just doing some uh, <laughs> fixing and they're doing some repairs. Okay, and do you have an estimation? The attack, the attack was an energy attack. A porthole opened over the United States. Energy beings were released into uh, into the earth. And many people, I, I've heard many people talk about it already. It was a very short attack, of course. They get, the men in black and uh, security around the world was uh, notified. They've traveled very quickly and we were able to, they were there to disrupt energies of all kind. If your electronic equipment was not working properly yesterday, this is, uh, this is why it was, they were there for about maybe 10 hours during the day, but they were um, gathered up and the porthole was sealed and everything is back to normal today. They, but it was a surprise attack. And energy was dispersed in many places around the world. Uh, and you you find these kinds of attacks to be like almost um, cartoon-like in the sense that you, no one can see anything. But yet, the, the, you can feel movement and action and, and there are things happening around you. So uh, I had many reports, or I should say Jim had many reports that there were all kinds of movement and actions yesterday that were un, unpredictable. So, and this was the energy attack, but it is over and they have been contained. I see, and do you have any estimation when the timelines are going to be fixed or? That I cannot tell you. Only the Time Lords would be able to tell you exactly when that would happen, but I, from my understanding, they are well on their way and will be fixed shortly. <laughs> Here, there's that word soon again, but um, they they said that they will be fixed within a, a few weeks, no later. Okay, thank you very, very much. You're welcome. I have a question. Yes, you. no one can hear you. Okay. I'm sorry that I'm making you move, That's by the way. Okay. 
Um, there was a second group of beings that also came through that were a second. Um, uh, Actually, there was three different uh, sets of energy. They all came through at once, but they were not all in the same place. So you experienced two attacks, but they were two different uh, sets of energy beings. But there was actually three sets of energy beings that were that came through the porthole. That th they just didn't attack the same places at the same time. Thank you. Okay. Is there any other questions? Yes, we have three more questions. Christine, Liney, and then Ava. Very well. Oh, Christine, no, she doesn't have a question. Sorry, let's start with Liney then. Liney and then Ava. Liney. Hi, Elijah. Greetings. Hello. Um, actually, um, first of all, did, did you like my picture? Did you see my picture I drew? Yes, it was amazing. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thanks. Um also um you're talking about the like the fourth dimension um and obviously um I'm guessing you know that my um uh, move has been approved by God. Yes, there are exceptions to the rule, but as a whole, the whole population is not moving to the next dimension. There will be certain people that will be approved to move for reasons of work that they need to, to get things done and they need to uh, do work in these areas. And the approval has been given for some, but I am talking about those that are speaking about the entire populations or portions of the population that will rise out of third dimension suddenly and, and translate into the next dimension. Now, some would call this the rapture. Um, the rapture is not looked at in this way exactly, but there are those that are ready to translate and perhaps one day will there will be a rapture-like experience, but it is not ready to happen quite yet. Okay, um, e Elijah, so I have a slight yes. confliction. So obviously um, my thing had been approved, but so, so yes. why, was, why was I um born into the third dimension anyway did i have an original mission or yes or? you have two children who are gifted and you must have you must be into the third dimension in order to have those children so that they can be part of the the future missions oh okay, oh, okay. that's fine yeah Yes, there are reasons for for being born into the third dimension, absolutely. And some missions may take a few of you out of the third dimension. And some of you will be out of the third dimension shortly and then come back. So do not, uh, but some will be per permanently out and some will not. But it is uh, as God wishes. But I am telling you that these uh, talking of of within a month or two weeks or a year that all uh, that a group of people will disappear this is not possible at this time what else what other questions are there uh, Ava has a question Eva greetings Elijah um, I have two questions one is, can you see this picture? This was taken um, by my daughter Chloe in yes. the trip to workshops in Sedona. It's been these beings, uh, one picture is even seven beings, um, were surrounding her for entire trip. Who are they? They're just friends of hers from other areas. They are alien beings as well. So she is just very protected and they do not wish to tell you who they really are but they uh there is a couple of those beings that are actually of angelic origin okay thank you so much my second question is about our current president donald trump i i've been hearing a lot of negative negative things he's doing 
uh, in environment, um, healthcare, whatever social things uh, you can think of. But also I've been hearing that he's cleaning up cabal, removing them. Is that true? What's true? The truth is that all the things that he is doing are awakening people. And all the things that he is doing is not from this thought process from third dimension. So he is working in a, in a different realm and he does not care what people think of him, but he has to bring change to the world in some way. And there will be other things that will happen that will bring change to the world in a greater way. Now, it does not appear that he is a positive person at some times. However, he is, he does speak his own truth in his own way, and he may be misinterpreted in some ways. I do not say that he's always correct in how he speaks, but he is here to bring about change to your planet. Okay, so is it true that he's removing cabal? Cabal are failing in their actions to succeed at some of their um, goals, and he is part of that reason, yes. Let's put it that way. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Can you also say, Elijah, that it's, the, it's not that Trump is good or bad, but he is definitely a catalyst of a shadow that's making people uh, be motivated to make change as well, that it's not that he is the savior of the world, but in some oh, ways no. he's the darkest part of the world, and he's showing he us is, our darkness that needs to be transformed. He is here to make people think, and thinking causes change. That is how I will put it. It is not negative or positive. It is about change that is inevitable. It is about what needs to happen in the future. And if someone doesn't uh, doesn't uh, put any catalyst out there for change, then it will stay the same. And he is that catalyst in some ways for some of these changes, not all of them. Right. Okay. Thank you so much. I don't see any other questions. Not that that is good or bad. I'm not saying good or bad. Right. I'm just saying that it is what it is, yes. and it must be done. Yes, thank you. I don't see any other questions in the uh, in the chat. Very well. Then I shall move on and bring someone else through. Thank you. Have for a wonderful day. What? I only said thank you for coming. Sorry, I, I jumped the gun. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Blessings to all of you. And take heed of what I say, because I know some of you will disagree with, with the, what I say. But look into your hearts and know that you cannot translate until your missions are done, until your time on earth is really not any more precious to you. And so there are some that will fit this category, and they must move into a place for, with no distraction, with no, um, with only God in their view, and then they will translate because the distractions of the third dimension and the worries of the third dimension will keep them right here if they are not totally focused on God and, and uh, love and moving forward. But remember, if you have a mission, you will still be here. Much love. Much love. Thank you.